Greetings, everybody. Brother Stu here, back to Bible videos. I'm thanking God for this beautiful opportunity. I want to acknowledge the Most High God, whose name is Jesus Christ, all my ways, and me direct our path, then all things He alone get the glory. Don't want to lean to my own understanding, but trust in the Lord with all my heart. I'm we'll back again with another video. I want to talk about the man of God, Abraham. I'm richly blessed. Richly blessed by the word of God, just reflecting on the scriptures and how the most high God is so wonderful. He's so awesome. His, his wisdom is infinite. Um, ways past finding out. The word of God says, his thoughts are not our thoughts. His way, his way is not our ways. As high as the heavens is above the earth, so his way is above our ways and his thoughts above our thoughts. Glory to God. So his not, his can it, is this can't fathom God. And I was just thinking about the man of God, Abraham. Hallelujah to God. And the promises of God are true and sure and amen. And he keeps all his promises. Glory to God. And uh, last night hearing the word about Joshua. And Joshua 1 where it talked about after the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord that God called Joshua say, go over to this land that I'm that I give I'm giving unto you for Israel. And as I was listening to it, I was like, my God, this all goes back to Abraham, the promises that God made him. Hallelujah to God that he was going to make him of a great nation. And this land that he promised, even though Abraham didn't see it, all of it is still carrying out the blessings of Abraham to, to everybody. Glory to him. And um and my God, God is so God is so awesome. Glory to God in the highest. But the key thing I wanted to focus on was how today a lot of people are focused on the wrong things. And some people focus on color. Some people focus on demographic, where they grew up, nation, age. So many different external scenarios that um, separate many believers, which should not be if they are believers, indeed. And what made me so blessed by the word of God regarding Abraham was first before Israel became Israel. Before he, the Jews became Jews, before the Hebrews became Hebrews, all that nation that only God dealt with. Glory to God. The people he made a people for his own purpose came from a man, glory to God, came from a man who lived in a part of the world that were considered heathen or idol worshipers. And he took that man from that environment and blessed that man. And from that man, God used, hallelujah to God, and blessed all nations. From that man. I'm going to read this for you. Glory to God in the highest. So, fast forwarding to now, how... I don't understand how any people can look down on another people touching their genealogy or their aesthetic appearance or, or mental and or lack of glory to God and eyes. When first of all, we were all born sinners and God chose us this and, and, and manifested in flesh the name of Jesus Christ the Son of God 
and went to the cross for us. Glory to God in our eyes. God was manifest in the flesh. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah to God. For everybody. And and it began, this people, he, and it started with how he choked, even in, my God, so much come to my mind right now. But this is about Abraham. Because I can talk about, look, he chose, he chose Noah. Hallelujah to God. Out of all the world, God does the election. God does the choosing for his own purpose. Everybody was, is blessed. And as a recipient of the second chance God gave to the earth through Noah. God destroyed everybody except Noah's family. So the earth family had got a second chance because of Noah. And here we are again. God chose a man. See, God knows the, be the ending at the beginning. He knows what he is doing. Glory to God in the highs. Hallelujah to God. He knows what he is doing. Now the Lord God has said unto Abram. Let's go up to, let's get a little family background here a little bit. In Genesis 11 and verse, let's read. Now these are now these are the generation of Terah. Terah begat Abram, Nahor, and Haran, and Haran begat Lot. And Haran died before his father Terah in the land of his nativity, in Ur of the Chaldees. And Abraham and Nahor took them wives. The name of Abram's wife was Sarai, Sarai, and the name of Nahor's wife Milcah, the daughter of Haran, the father of Milcah, and the father of Iscah. But Sarah was barren, she had no child. And Terah took Abram his son, and Lot the son of Haran, his son's son, and Sarai his daughter-in-law, his son Abram's wife, and they went forth with them from Ur of the Chaldees to go into the land of Canaan. And there came unto Haran and dwelt there. And the days of Terah were two hundred and five years, and Terah died in Haran. Now the Lord had said unto Abram, Get thee out of thy country, and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house, unto a land that I will show thee. God is saying, I'm going to pick this man, take him away from this land, and go to a place I'm going to show him. Hallelujah to God. I'm laughing because I get so much joy out of the word. He said, come away from your folk. I'm going to move you to a place that I'm going to show you. And I'm going to make a nation out of you. Glory to God in eyes. I'm going to take you out of your environment. As we would say, I'm going to take, I'm going to take you out of the ghetto. And I'm going to make you a suburb. It's a card on my head. And I will make of thee a great nation. And I will bless thee and make thy name great. And thou shalt be, shalt be a blessing. Shalt be means going to be in the future. And people don't realize what God did for Abraham. Hallelujah. Glory to God in the highest. We are beneficiaries of the blessing that God made with Abraham. And now... And thou shalt be a blessing, and I will bless them that bless thee, and curse him that curseth thee. And in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. Look, I read the word of God, and I take the word of God for what it is. The word of God says, in thee, Abraham. At this time, he wouldn't even call Abraham yet. Abram shall all families of the earth be blessed. I thank God for Abraham. 
Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah to God. Praise be to God. The God of Abraham, of, of Isaac, and of Jacob. Glory to God and all the patriarchs before. I bless the holy name of Jesus Christ. I thank God for Abraham. Never met the man. Never seen the man. Oh, glory to God in the highest. But I thank God for Abraham. Glory to God. I bless the God of Abraham. And I will bless them that bless thee. Glory to God in the highest. And curse him that curses thee. And in thee shall all the faint. I am blessed. I can say right now, I am blessed because of Abraham. And you are too. You are blessed because of Abraham. And many people don't even know it. And I will bless them that bless thee and curse them that curseth thee. And in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. I say all that to say. Look where God took this man from. We focus on the wrong things and we separate ourselves for the wrong things and look at people and subjugate people for the wrong reasons and esteem things that should not be esteemed for the wrong reasons. And yet, here is the Most High God took a man from an area of idols, worship, and chose that man. And how you are blessed today is because of that man. Jew or Gentile. So what is the what is the point of this, Brother Stu? What are you trying to say? Stop looking at yourself. Stop putting people down. Stop putting other people's cultures down. Stop putting other people's color down. Stop putting people's families down. Stop putting their background down. Stop putting their language down. And yet, and then at the, have the nerve to call yourself a Christian. Because if God doesn't choose you, you'd be still left in your idol worship. You'd be still left not knowing or understanding who God is. And many people who still don't know who God is, is blessed because of Abraham. Does that mean they're saved? No, but they're still ble they are blessed. There, there's a lot in this. There's a lot in this story about Abraham and the promise and Isaac and all those things spiritually. But the focus point is that don't look at a person's background or where they come from. Don't look at a person's background, where they come from, who their family is, or the color of their skin. And, and look down at a person and say, oh, they can't be, they can't be anybody. Or they shouldn't be anybody. Or don't esteem someone else's culture or color of skin higher than somebody else and then and yet forget those people who proclaim to be who they are and 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 esteem their their genealogy and their background higher than what it should be and yet forget they're not where they are they wouldn't be where they are if it wasn't for God choosing this man Abram who became Abraham where he came from that's the point of this video. I may have took a long round the barn way of explaining it. But that's the point of this. That's the point of this. Glory to God in the highest. And so we all know the story of Isaac, Ishmael, and, and everything. Jacob and the patriarchs and all those type of things. And. But yeah, that was my point. <laughs> that was my point of this little video. What you see with me, what you see is what you get. 
You know, I was I was blessed by this when I was reflecting on it, hearing the word about Joshua and, and the promises made to, to um, the promises made to Abraham. I'm like, my God, a lot of things that are that the people of God are benefiting from is this, is the, it's all first of all, it's all about God. God keeps his promises. A lot of things that we are benefiting from is the promises that God made to Abraham. And we have to be thankful and mindful and that it's not us. Hallelujah to God. Because at the end of the day, God knows them that are his. And in closing, one of my, my desire is to more to seek the will of God more than I have been. Not my will, not nobody else's will. Seeking the will of God. Because what I believe once we understand and fully commit to God's will, I believe so many things will we will grow spiritually and closer to him and understand more. And and we won't doubt as much. Understanding, okay, what God's will is for something and what his will is not. So we understand that if when we understand if we, when we understand if something is not God's will, we won't pursue it as much. And, if, and once we understand the things that are God's will, we will pursue that much more. Because I believe in this last few days, a lot of us believers are pursuing things that we think is good and we think is right and are not necessarily God's will. And we don't know it. And we keep and, and the thing that is, is his will, we are neglecting because we're pursuing things that's not his will. But that may be another topic for another day. So pray for us. We mean well in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you.